And this is what we're going to be making today. It's a two-part cap mould for a D20 dice um, using the Teeth's Things mould boxes. This is project one in the Teeth's Things dice making starter kit, but you could do this with a full set of dice in one mould. You could make multiple ones of these for um, a full set of dice as well. It's the same method throughout. So we've got our D20 in the base and we've got our number one on the lid ready made with our keys in there so it all fits nicely together and it's super duper neat. Here's everything that we're going to need to start making our Dice Masters uh, cap mould so we can start pouring some dice. The first thing we need is a Dice Master, a mould box, some 50ml wide packing tape to stick the mould box together and scissors. We're going to need a set of scales, some silicon, something to stir it with and something to mix it in. Then cleaning materials, um, just in case we spill any, so kitchen roll. We're going to need gloves to keep our hands nice and clean. And then we're going to need some petroleum jelly and something to apply that with as well. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put together our mould box so that there's um, something to pour silicon into. The Teeth Things ones come with six sides, so you get four sides and two bases. Um, one of the bases is for using double-sided tape with. So the solid base, if you prefer to use double-sided tape and stick your own keys down, you can use the solid base. We're gonna use today the base with the hole in it, so the hollow base, and we're gonna put the packing tape to start off with over the hole. So if you just take a square and stick it down as smoothly and as tightly as possible, and just make sure there's no gaps. So we fill in that hole with tape. Then we're gonna flip that upside down so the sticky side is now on the top. And we're gonna start with our edges, okay? So if you take the edges and you've got them on the sides and you've got them the same way round so that they all line up perfectly, you're just gonna start with the first one and put that on the front. You're gonna take the second one and put that on the side and just work your way around the mold box popping those in until you will have all five four sides and they should stick to that little bit of tape that's on the bottom just hold them in place but then what we're going to do is going to take some more tape and use some tension to wrap around the sides of the box. So if you just hold them all together, I'm gonna to start, you see I'm overlapping the bottom very slightly with an extra piece of tape there and just wrap that round as tight as you can, pulling it tight as you go. All the way around. chop that off okay those extra bits then I'm just going to fold over so that we definitely know there's no gaps for any silicon to leak out of just around the bottom and if you want you can put an extra bit around the, that very top bit as well that hasn't got any the next thing we're going to do we're going to pick the face that we want to form the cap of our mold which is normally the, the, the side labeled one and we're going to stick that side downwards into the center of the sticky tape that we left facing upwards. So now I have the D20 stuck inside the mold box. Just hold that from the, from the top and make sure that there's no bubbles, no air gaps around that, that bottom face. And that's our mold box ready to go. Step three is to mix up your silicon. So you're gonna need your scales if it's a, a mixed by weight uh, silicon. We're gonna need a cup and a stirrer, and then we're gonna need the mold box to pour it into. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cup onto the scales. I'm going to zero the scales off. That basically means that only the cup is on there. And I make sure that the readout says zero. This basically means that the only thing it's weighing is the silicon that we put into the cup. Okay. If it's flashing, just press the zero button so it knows that that's definitely zero. Okay. And then we're going to measure out by weight 
one to one of each part. So we're going to start with part A and we're going to make sure it's at zero and we're going to start to pour out our silicon. If you're using the two things kit, you're going to measure out the, the weights of silicon that are in the guide in the instruction manual. If you go one or two grams either way, that it doesn't matter. Just make sure you do the same with the other one as well. Okay, so now I'm going to do part B. There we go. Okay, so I've measured equal parts of part A and part B into my cup, and then I'm going to use my stirrer just to very gently and slowly stir the mixture, trying not to put any air in there at all. Okay, so just nice and slow. And what you want to do as well is make sure that there's no um, liquid on the sides or the bottom of the cup that isn't mixed. So I'm scraping down the sides and going across the bottom to incorporate all that material. You're going to do this for about three to five minutes. So pop on your favorite song and do it till it's finished. Okay, so I've got that all mixed up and you'll see there are some bubbles in there, but with the best will in the world, you're never going to stir something up and get no bubbles at all. It's just about as getting as few as you possibly can. Okay, and then I'm just going to pour into my mould and I'm going to not aim for the top of the D20, I'm going to aim for one of the spaces to the side so that it's not catching bubbles as it goes. I'm going to pour the thinnest, tallest stream that I can muster um, to try and burst some of those bubbles on the way down. You're going to keep pouring until you've got around about a centimetre above the top of your dice. Keep going really slow though. And that's that. That we're going to leave our um, base part of our mold to set for 24 hours, um, somewhere nice and level, so we don't end up with a wonky mold, um, on a protective surface, just in case we do get any leaks. You don't want silicon pouring everywhere. Um, and we'll come back and see it tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day, and the silicon has set. It, still be a little bit tacky on top but you can feel that it's hard so I'm just going to peel off all the cell tape from the sides and then peel off the piece from the bottom too then very gently start to pull them apart. Now the silicon will be stuck, so I'm just getting that little air bubble to get all the way down the sides before I try and pull it off. Mm -hmm. And we repeat.
Ta-da! Now I'm just going to chop, I'm just going to cut off all those excess little bits with scissors. And there we have it. One super duper clean uh, base for a cat mould. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make the lid for it because at the moment we'd be casting 19 faces and not getting the one on the top so we're going to make a lid that fits. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to protect that silicon from more silicon sticking to it and completely making a closed mould. So I'm just going to use petroleum jelly. I'm just going to take a very small bit and we're going to cover all the surfaces all the top surfaces, sorry, with our mold of our mold base with Vaseline, except for the face of the die. So everything that's silicon, we're going to cover up. And if it's the master dice, we're going to miss it. So you don't forget to get all around those edges, all in there, that little lip, and then very carefully go around. the face of the dice. Cool. So with that all looped up, we're going to pop it back into our mold box. So if you take the first piece, I'm going to pop, we're going to put it so that the face of the dice is across, is going across the top, but we want to get that completely in the bottom. So I'm just going to pop it on the castellations there. You can see that and then start to build up the rest of the box around it and then this time we can use the solid base just to slot that into the bottom as well to create that closed box cool. take some tape just like before and we're going to wrap it Make sure those sides are nice and tight on. They're not loose. They're not coming away from the edge of the mold box. So push it in as you go. And this time you're gonna to wanna to go all the way to that top edge. So take a second piece matter if you get over, above the edge it's just to make sure that none of the silicon is going to escape Ta-da! we're ready for more silicon okay so I've mixed up a really small amount of silicon I've stirred that up I tried not to get any bubbles in it but you know and then we're gonna pour that just like we did yesterday onto the the mold but we're gonna eight we're gonna try to miss the face of the dice and we're going to pour it really slowly from high up to try and burst all those remaining bubbles that we've got in the cup okay And just fill that till you get pretty much the top and then stop and again we're going to leave that um, to fully set to fully harden before we come back to it it's day three and the only thing left to do now is to remove all the tape remove the mold box sides and we'll be left with our cat mold The bottom should come off really easily because there's nothing to attach it to, but don't pull on the castellations to try and get that off. Try and pull to the body of the, the body of the sides and just pop each one off. In turn, and ta-da, okay. I'm just gonna clean off any of that Vaseline that was, that was on the sides of the base. 
just so I don't get sticky fingers when I'm holding my master dice. And it should pop off nice and easily. And you've got your mold base as it was before and your mold lid now with the number one and those and those keys in it. Um, if it doesn't come off really easily, just take a craft knife and very gently cut the bits of silicon that have stuck to one another um, to pull that apart. We're then gonna clean it up again, just get that excess Vaseline off. With your first cast, any, any Vaseline will come off, but we'll just get rid of it as, mu as much of it as possible right now. There you go. You're also going to want to clean all the sides of your mold boxes. Just take the take the Vaseline off, and then the last thing to do is to pop out our master. So I like to start off by just creating a little bit of an air pocket around the sides, just to make sure that the silicon isn't stuck in those top face numbers. And then we're going to pop from the push from the bottom, and hopefully, with a little bit of wiggling. It'll come straight out. And there we have it. A master dice and our first two-part cat mold.